Hi, I'm Chris McKenzie. I'm with Grow Appalachia of Berea College. And I'm here to talk to you today about lime. What is it and what type to use and where to get it? So lime is gonna be a soil amendment that uh, we can use to bring our pH up. So if we need to uh, adjust our pH uh, towards the more neutral or alkaline uh, part of the pH scale. We can use lime to do that. And, uh, you know, if our soil test comes back and it shows that we've got a soil that's more acidic than we need it, lime is the way to go. So there are some different types of lime and I'm going to talk a little bit about those. Uh, here we've got a couple of bags just to, to show you and demonstrate. Both of these you can use on your garden or farm. Um, this is uh, labeled as garden lime. This is labeled as lawn lime. They're both uh, considered ag limes or agricultural limes. And so you can, if you're going to a hardware or farm store, you can uh, ask for it under any of these labels, lawn lime, garden lime, or agricultural lime. Uh, these are uh, two different products because here we've got a pulverized lime. Uh, so it's a, a, a fine powder uh, that comes out of the bag. This has also been pulverized, but then it's been pelletized. So we've got uh, small little pellets uh, that make it easier to spread. So in terms of uh, logistics, oftentimes this one's going to be healthier and safer uh, and just overall easier to spread. Um, so this is the one that we typically recommend. Now there are some different types of lime that you're gonna want to uh, avoid. Uh, one being slaked lime, uh, another being uh, hydrated lime. Those limes have more uh, uh, construction type applications. This is what you, what you want on your soil. One other difference that you may need to know about is the difference between cal uh, calcitic and dolomitic lime. Um, so both of these are actually dolomitic which means they contain uh, a little bit more magnesium uh, than a calcitic lime. A calcitic lime is uh, uh, pretty much all calcium based, where, whereas these, uh, again, the dolomitic is gonna have a little bit more magnesium. Um, now, pretty much anybody can use dolomitic lime in their soil. Um, there's not a concern about magnesium um, in terms of putting too much on. Um, and if you need magnesium, this, uh, the dolomitic is definitely to the, the type to go with. Uh, if you don't need magnesium and, um, you, and, and what you can find is the calcitic lime, that's just fine. That's going to raise your calcium and also raise your pH, which is what you're looking for. All right, so we just wanted you to be able to see the difference between uh, pelletized and pulverized lime here. This is the pelleted lime. See, we've got these nice little pellets. Um, now this is just as finely ground as this pulverized lime, but it's, it's been pelleted together. So it's a lot easier to spread, a lot easier to handle. It's not going to create a, a dust cloud. Uh, whereas this pulverized lime, see how uh, fine it is. And it can really uh, get up in the air and it causes some people, you know, some lung problems if they're spreading it that way. Now, if you're not going to get lime in a bag, you can also get it uh, in bulk form. So straight from the quarry, uh, it's going to come uh, uh, powdered like this, pulverized. And, uh, uh, you know, typically a quarry is going to have a truck that's able to spread it. So if you are on a larger scale farm where you need to do a couple of acres, if you're doing a pasture or something like that, uh, then it may be, uh, uh, may be a good thing to look up your local quarries and see if you've got a bulk source, uh, just because it's going to be cheaper that way. So if you're buying 50 pound bags of lime to spread on, you know, several acres of uh, pasture or paddock, uh, that, may, that may be too expensive. So if you are gonna go the bulk lime route, there's a couple of extra considerations uh, to make. Uh, the limestone that comes from your local quarry may not be as, uh, um, as effective as the bag, the bag lime that we've got here. Um, so, uh, we have a, a factor called the relative neutralizing value, and that can be a lot lower in local limestone, depending on, you know, what the source is. And so, uh, you're going to need to know that value for whatever your source is and use that to calculate your lime application. 
Now, what we recommend is that you uh, contact your extension agent, or you can also contact us here at Grow Appalachia, and uh, uh, we can figure out what that value is and help you uh, recalculate your lime to account for, uh, for that if you're gonna go the bulk route. Another factor to consider if you're gonna do the bulk lime is that uh, you know a lot of times they're hauling that lime in a 15 to 20 ton truck. And uh, a lot of times they're gonna want to you know make that full load. So if you can split it with a neighboring farm, uh, that can be a good idea if you don't need that, that full truck load.